Hello everyone, it is me, you can and we're back with another unboxing. Today we got from Hot Wheels, number 114. Oh, that's pretty cool. Is in the previous unboxing, the one we did was 115 or 250, so this was one of the previous car. But yeah, so 114 or 250 from Hot Wheels Let's Race. Um, 5 out of 5 for the Hot Wheels Megabyte line. I don't believe I have anything from the Megabytes in my collection. Yeah, I don't think I do. But we have T Vex Troyer. Oh, it's playing words. And now then, let's see if this one can also get a thousand plus views. I kind of joke about it because I'm okay if, if any video gets at least like five views. That's the ideal view count for me. But it's just with the previous T Vex one I did, which was the hauler. For some reason, that video has like two to three thousand views, which you know, someone like me, that's quite a lot, especially for a Hot Wheel car. But I mean, these things are cool. So, if it happens again, I think I may know the formula: dinosaur on cars. But yeah, I mean, pretty cool shot of the car right here, though. Like, it's really cool, especially the metal teeth. But we flip to the back. Actually, one of my friends does have like a the cover art track but it's like a golden ish brown but yeah um here's some stuff on the back more stuff here's the beautiful barco also got the shot earlier but it's just doing up made by metal let's pop it open wow you just came flying out didn't you All right, we have it. <laughs> okay, it looks a bit derpy from the top angle, but for some reason packaging looks fine. It just looks, I mean, it looks like a T-Rex car, but the car makes it look derpy. But yeah, we flip underneath. Um, you were? Wait, when were you made? Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. This one doesn't have a timestamp for when it was model was made. Unless for the first time forever, this is actually a unique mold, like a new mold. And it's the first time I forever in my Hot Wheels collection actually have a new mold. So I just know like little timestamps. And maybe when this dude gets a V color, yeah, if it's cool enough, I will get it, so we can see. But yeah, I mean, it actually does have some cool red detail up here. His giant smile. He's basically just a T-Rex flopped down on a car with exhaust pipes coming down. But I mean, what more can you ask for him, especially for a buck fifty? But yeah, we do like the wheels, those red accents, we help it pop. Plus, you look at the eye details, it genuinely looks like an actual T Rex eye. I don't know what to do with the dinosaur cars, but or just animal cars in general. But they like cook more than with a basic car. Being the basic stuff be fire. Granted, I guess that's kind of the appealing part. It's like, whoa, look, an animal on a car. Let's grab it. We have me with a couple of stuff in there. But yeah, I mean, the arms look a bit weird because, you know, you think with T-Rex, you think short arms, but I mean, it's supposed to kind of cover up the wheels, but I mean, just makes it look too humanoid. Yeah, the arms didn't look weird. I mean, look at it from the top down. It's a bit derpy. But a um, little tail in the air. We do like these red accents. And it has this back feet back here, but nothing really special about that. Just kind of covering up the wheels. Um, here's this engine block, which is right here underneath the flap of skin. So it's like a, it's kind of like Hades from the back of the anime where it had like alpha hydronoids, like skin kind of, and then it got ripped off and then you see metal. So it's kind of like this for instance. But yeah, so, I mean, the brown underside, we, I mean, you don't see it, but I mean, it makes it pop for real. It's like. Actually gives it a, like, accent, for real, for real. 
Hmm. Oh yeah, I need a T-Rex car. I gotta really get myself a hot wheel track set so I can actually start racing cars. I mean, I like them just buying those cars, but I genuinely do want the track sets. Just every time I see them, it seems like a a little bit more expensive by like thirty dollars. Every time it's on clearance, I don't have enough for the clearance price set, so it never works out for me. But that's been my look at the T Rex Destroyer. Well, I like to thank you folks for watching this unboxing on Hot Wheels T Rex Destroyer. I think it's supposed to be a plain word for T Rex Destroyer. If you folks enjoyed the video, um, give the unboxing a thumbs up, drop a comment down below. I'll put them as fast as I can. And let's see if we can get this one also to a thousand plus views. If not, it's totally cool. But I mean, I'm just saying it because, you know, I thought a T-Rex one is. So let's see if we can start a, a trend going on my channel. Every T-Rex Hot Wheels has to have a thousand plus views. Now nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. Five views at bare minimum is, not, is all I'm okay with. But yeah, and subscribe and hit the bell so you know if I drop a new video. But until next time, toodles.